क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल डिस्कस नाउ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेप्थ सर्विस कवरेज रेशियो एनी बिजनेस रिक्वायर्स टू टेक सम अमाउंट ऑफ लोन्स सच फंड्स टेकन ऑन लोन हेल्प्स बिजनेस टू ग्रो एस्टाब्लिश सच लोन्स मे बी शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स एंड लॉन्ग टर्म लोन्स वेन लोन्स आर टेकन बाय द बिजनेस वी आर रिक्वायर टू पे इंटरेस्ट ऑन दोज लोन्स दोज इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स आर रेफर्ड यूर एज वॉट डेप्ट सर्विस चार्जेस बिजनेस शुड हैव सफिशियंट अमाउंट ऑफ कैश फ्लोज प्रॉफिट्स टू मेक पेमेंट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दिस रेशियो हेल्प्स अस टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ आवर प्रॉफिट is eaten by interest many corporates they take huge amount of loans for vast expansion but later on when we study we come across a situation that their most of the earnings are used to make payment of huge interest therefore the balance amount left for the investors sometimes it's very low this ratio helps us to understand whether company is having good position to make payment of interest on regular basis out of its earnings let us understand the concept debt service coverage ratio shows the relationship between net profits and interest plus installment payable on loans here it considers something called as loan installment or emi which includes interest portion on balance unpaid amount of loan plus some amount of principal which goes every month that is principal plus interest is referred as loan installment it is expressed as a pure number debt service means the payment of interest plus installment on loans coverage means the availability of profits for debt servicing formula debt service coverage ratio cash profits available for debt services divided by interest plus installment due on loan that is interest plus part of principal cash profit available for debt servicing are computed as follows we are required to consider net profit after interest and tax and we are required to add non cash debits to profit and loss account such as depreciation goodwill return off deferred revenue expenses return off loss on sale of fixed asset etc here we are more focusing on cash which is required to pay emi therefore if we take base amount as profit of the business which is arrived from profit and loss account after deducting non cash expenses here we are required to consider cash profit we come across profit shown by profit and loss account after debiting even non cash item like depreciation goodwill return off etc for a payment of loan installment we are interested in finding the cash flows of the business therefore we add all those non cash items to the net profit so that we can find out cash net profit of the business second interest on loan c is cash profit for debt servicing interest means interest on long term loans during the year installment means installment due on long term loan during the year here installment stands for part of principal amount function purpose debt service coverage ratio is a type of coverage ratio a coverage ratio shows the relationship between profits and the claims of outsider to be paid out of such profits the purpose of debt service coverage ratio is to measure the debt servicing capacity of the company 
actual ratio, its interpretation and comments. Actual ratio, debt service coverage ratio of X indicates that cash remaining are X times, X number of times the interest plus installments or interest plus installment is covered X times by the cash earnings. Second, balances amount is available for appropriation, right of etc. For example, debt service coverage ratio of 2 indicates that cash earnings are 2 times the interest plus installment or interest plus installment is covered 2 times by cash earnings or interest and installment is half of cash earnings. Balance amount that is half of earning is available for write-offs and appropriations. Actual ratio close to standard a ratio of 1.33 is considered to be a standard debt service coverage ratio. An actual debt service coverage ratio close to such standard shows an optimum debt servicing capacity of the company that is capacity to pay interest and installment as and when they fall due. Sufficient balance profit available for payment of dividend and appropriation. Scope to attract fresh loans as lenders are assured of payment of interest and installments. If company's ratio is matching the standard, creditors or banks are more interested to give loans to such companies because they are assured of getting back the interest as well as principal amount. Rate of interest may be low, prime lending rate due to low risk of default as company's standard ratio is matching with the actual ratio banks will be charging normal interest rate on loans good proportion of debt and equity in financing the assets of company actual ratio higher than the standard an actual debt cover coverage ratio much higher than standard ratio should a strong debt servicing capacity of the company strong capacity to pay interest and installment as and when they fall due large amount of balance profit available for payment of dividend appropriation very good scope to attract fresh loan as lenders are assured of payment of interest and installments rate of interest may be even lower than the prime lending rate due to no risk of default however there may be less debt and more equity in financing of the asset no advantage of capital gearing or trading on equity in this case as Companies ratio is more than standard ratio Banks are assured of their interest and principal amount payments Therefore company can raise further funds through loans for expansion actual ratio lower than the standard and actual debt service coverage ratio much lower than the standard ratio shows a weak debt servicing capacity of the company weak capacity to pay interest and installment as and when they fall due low amount of balance profit available for payment of dividend and appropriation less scope to attract fresh loan as lenders are not sure that interest and installment will be paid or paid in time rate of interest may be higher than the prime lending rate due to high risk of default here company's ratio is lower than the standard Therefore, banks are not very readily available to provide loans to such company. If at all loans are given, the rate of interest charge will be much higher. However, there may be more debt and less equity in financing of asset, leading to advantage of capital gearing or trading on equity. Let us do one small example to understand this ratio more properly. Find out debt service coverage ratio from the following details. Profit after interest and tax 2,50,000. Interest payable 25,000. Depreciation 15,000. Loan installment payable during the year 1,45,000. In this case, depreciation is a non cash expense 
profits are given after interest and that interest amount is this rupees 25,000. Net profit after interest and tax 2,50,000 to this will be adding interest 25,000 and non-cash item depreciation 15,000 to arrive at cash net profit before interest. Net profit after interest and tax cash profit available for debt servicing will be 2,90,000. debt service coverage ratio cash profit available divided by interest plus installment of loan installment means here part of pay, principal amount cash profit available 290000 interest payable 25000 loan installment payable during the year 145000 so it will be added here 25000 plus 145000 so 2,90,000 divided by 1,70,000. So it is 1.7 times. This is the answer we got in this video. We have understood the concept of debt service coverage ratio, its importance, its formula, how to be calculated. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.